Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to connect OpenAI chat functionality to a website and create this kind of a small pop-up widget. When you click on that, it will initiate the conversation and if you write like what is SOS. It will provide the answer. So let's get started. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you must have open AI account and open AI API key. So if you go to this login section and click on view API keys, you can create your API's key from here. And next you will need uh, this GitHub repository. So all the code that I'm going to use uh, for this tutorial is available on this GitHub repository. So you can clone this Git repository using HTTP or download it as a zip and then open in Visual Studio code. And if you do so, please consider giving a star. It helps. So I have uh, downloaded the code on my local system and I have opened that folder with Visual Studio code. So let me first stop this. The first thing you need to do is uh, I'll show you. Uh, let me first delete my virtual environment because I'm not going to use it. I'll create one more. So the first thing you'll do is you will create a virtual environment using using Python hyphen M V E N V V E N V. My virtual environment name is V E N V. And this first V E N V is the module that will create this virtual environment. I'll hit enter. Then I'll source into my uh, virtual environment. Now you can see I'm inside my newly created virtual environment. Then I'll say uh, pip install hyphen r and I'll say from requirements.txt file. This will install all the required dependencies and all the dependencies are listed in this requirements.txt file. Uh, the small warning says that you need to upgrade the version of pip. I'll do that. Yeah, let me clear the screen. Now, let me explain you the code a bit. So run.py is our entry point. This will start uh, Python Flask application, which is inside the source folder. So this is our Python Flask application. We have three routes. First route is home route, which just says that everything is working okay. Uh, chat route. So in this chat route, we will see this widget. And this receive message route is API endpoint where we will call open AI chat completion function. And we will provide the prompt uh, written by the user and get the response from open AI. So if we look into this, so this uses open AI package and open AI API key. Now my open AI API key is coming from my dot env file. So in case you deploy it on a service call render, then you need to create that environment variable. And this chat completion function uses uh, chat completion create method and it uses GPT 3.5 point uh, turbo. Now this chat function renders HTML file, which is index.html, which is inside this template. So if we look here, the, so this is a simple HTML file, which calls this my boat element. And this my boat element is coming from this uh, script dot js file so all the uh, all the all the ui stuff is coming from this static folder it has css font and images and js so my uh, main 
script.js is this file this file creates the pop-up widget uh, whenever I write something that goes here here I have written a function to send request to the endpoint so now this endpoint is this receive message endpoint so my message written by the user comes here from here I make a request to this endpoint this endpoint in turn go to open AI get the response and send it back here and here I have a function uh, this main function which set boot response so in this script.js file you don't have to uh, do much just replace this URL with the one you deploy on and it will work so this is all about the code section now let me run the run.py now when I run this run.py it starts the local server and if I go there uh, in the home route I can see that status is ok and application is working ok and if I go to this chat route I'll see this small widget and when I click on it it will pop open and it will say hi this is chat GPT how can I help you so that message is again coming from this script and if you see here uh, this is the response I uh, set by the chatbot to start the conversation and if now user says uh, what is let's say SOS then this message comes here you can see a post request is received on receive message uh, in app.py this in turn uh, calls the chat completion function of open AI and send the response back and if I come here uh, so this is the response came from uh, open AI so let's say uh, write me a poem yeah you can see this response is coming from open AI so this is how uh, you can you know connect your website page and connect it to open AI chat GPT and provides users uh, question if you close this it will not you know remove all the chat if you click again it will start where it was left so this is how it works and now what you can do is that when you deploy this this on your server or any service what you need to do is that you need to just provide this tag this tag my boat tag into your index.html or in your you know whatever html file you want to put this and you provide this and this to script this boat will work so i hope uh, this is informative to you and if you like the work i am showing here please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace